Ladies and gentlemen, there comes a moment in life when you find yourself standing alone. No applause, no cheering crowds, just you and the quiet echo of your own thoughts. And in that moment, you have a choice to give in to doubt or to rise to the challenge and discover your own strength. Being alone is not a weakness, it's a gift. It's in solitude where you learn the true depth of your power, the resilience of your mind, and the determination of your spirit. When the distractions of the world fade away, you are left with the most important conversation you will ever have the one you have with yourself. Think about it. Greatness is born in moments of solitude. The inventor in their workshop, the artist in their studio, the athlete in the early morning hours, training while the world sleeps. They aren't surrounded by crowds or praise. No, they are alone. But they are far from weak. It's in those quiet hours where the foundation of strength is laid brick by brick. There's a common misconception in society that being alone is a sign of weakness or isolation. In reality, solitude is one of the greatest gifts life offers. It's a space where you can strip away the noise and distractions of the outside world, allowing yourself to focus on what truly matters, your personal growth, your goals, and your inner strength. Solitude isn't a void to be feared, but a powerful environment where you can begin to understand and harness your true potential. When you find yourself alone, it's natural for doubts and insecurities to surface. You might feel vulnerable, as if being without others somehow diminishes your value or worth. But here's the truth it's in these moments, free from the influence or expectations of others, that you have the opportunity to connect with your core. Instead of being distracted by external voices, you can finally listen to your own. You can discover your deepest desires, your true purpose, and the wellspring of strength that's been lying within you all along. Solitude is where self-awareness is born. Without the noise of other people's opinions, judgments, or advice, you can finally see yourself clearly. You get to explore your thoughts, reflect on your decisions, and understand your emotions without the interference of external forces. This clarity is a gift, an opportunity to learn more about who you are and what you stand for. This self-awareness becomes the foundation of your personal strength. It gives you the confidence to stand firm in your values and make decisions that align with your true self. In solitude, you are not weak, you are independent. Independence is not about cutting yourself off from the world, it's about having the strength to stand on your own. It's about realizing that you are enough that you don't need anyone else to validate your existence, your goals, or your dreams. The world may celebrate teamwork and collaboration, but there is immense power in standing alone, confident in who you are and what you're capable of. This independence is the very essence of strength. It's the ability to be self-sufficient, to trust yourself, and to know that you can weather any storm because your foundation is solid. Moreover, solitude is a time for creation. When you're alone, your mind is free to roam, unencumbered by the opinions or judgments of others. Some of the greatest inventions, works of art, and personal achievements have been birthed in moments of solitude. The absence of external noise allows your mind to focus, innovate, and problem solve. It is here, in the quiet moments, that you can engage in deep thinking, explore new ideas, and take risks without fear of criticism or failure. Solitude strengthens not just the mind, but the spirit. When you learn to embrace being alone, you cultivate resilience. You learn that you can face challenges on your own, overcome obstacles, and come out stronger on the other side. In doing so, you build a sense of inner fortitude that no one can take away from you. To be alone is not to be weak. It is an opportunity to grow, to reflect, and to strengthen the most important relationship you will ever have the one with yourself. In those moments of solitude, you learn that you are stronger than you ever realized, capable of achieving greatness and powerful beyond measure. Greatness doesn't emerge in the noise of crowds, the clamor of recognition, or the gaze of an audience. It's born in solitude during the quiet moments when you're alone with your thoughts, your struggles, and your drive. The world often glorifies success as a public event. 
where people celebrate achievements and admire the final product. But what's often overlooked is the unseen process, the early mornings, the late nights, and the countless hours of work that take place in solitude. This is where true greatness takes shape. Consider the people who have left lasting impacts in their fields, whether they're inventors, artists, athletes, or entrepreneurs. Their success stories are filled with moments of solitude where they work tirelessly behind the scenes. The inventor locked away in their workshop, experimenting and failing again and again until they finally hit upon a breakthrough. The artist alone in their studio, pushing through creative blocks and refining their craft until their vision takes form. The athlete waking up before dawn to train while the rest of the world sleeps, pushing their body to its limits in pursuit of mastery. These individuals don't rely on the presence or approval of others to fuel their work. Their drive comes from within, and it's in these private moments of solitude that they forge their path to greatness. The truth is, solitude allows for focus. When you're alone, free from distractions and external pressures, you can zero in on your goals with an intensity that is hard to achieve in a crowded, noisy environment. It's during these focused periods that you can make real progress unencumbered by the expectations or judgments of others. Solitude provides a space for deep concentration where you can immerse yourself fully in your work, hone your skills and make the kind of breakthroughs that are only possible when your mind is fully engaged. Moreover, solitude fosters creativity. Without the interference of other voices or opinions, your mind is free to wander, explore and innovate. Many of the world's greatest ideas and inventions were conceived in moments of solitude. It's in the quiet, reflective moments where new possibilities emerge where you can connect dots that others haven't seen or think in ways that others haven't considered. Solitude allows you to break free from conventional thinking and chart your own course. It's in these moments of deep introspection and creative exploration that greatness is born. But perhaps most importantly, solitude builds resilience. When you learn to rely on yourself to work toward your goals without needing validation or support from others, you develop an inner strength that can carry you through even the toughest challenges. Greatness is often a result of perseverance of pushing forward in the face of setbacks and failures. And it's in solitude where there are no distractions that you find the mental toughness to keep going, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. So while the world may celebrate the public moments of success, it's crucial to remember that greatness is not born in the spotlight. It's born in solitude, in the quiet moments of focus, creativity, and resilience. Those who embrace solitude understand that it is a powerful force, one that allows them to unlock their full potential and achieve the kind of greatness that endures. In life, there comes a point where you must realize that you are the architect of your own destiny. This means that the power to shape your future lies entirely in your hands. It's a liberating but also daunting truth. When you understand this, you no longer wait for permission from others, nor do you rely on external validation to pursue your goals. Instead, you take full responsibility for your actions, your decisions, and ultimately your success. Being the architect of your own destiny means that you are in control of your choices. Every decision you make, no matter how small, contributes to the overall design of your life. Whether you choose to work hard or take shortcuts, whether you embrace challenges or shy away from them, each choice is like a brick laid in the foundation of your future. When you embrace the fact that your life is in your own hands, you start to become intentional with your choices. You think about the long-term consequences of your actions and how they will affect your path forward. This mindset leads to growth and progress because you are actively shaping your future rather than passively waiting for things to happen. It's important to understand that being in control of your destiny does not mean you will always know the outcome. There will be uncertainty and there will be moments of doubt. But in these moments, you must trust yourself. The ability to trust your instincts and judgment is key to building a life that aligns with your vision. Too often, people rely on the opinions or approval of others before they take action. They wait for someone else to tell them they're on the right path or that they're capable of achieving their goals. But when you're the architect of your destiny, you don't wait for that approval. 
you trust yourself enough to make decisions that align with your goals even if others can't yet see the bigger picture this sense of independence is empowering it frees you from the fear of judgment and from the constraints of external expectations when you're designing your own life you are not limited by what others think you should do or what society tells you is possible you set your own standards and define your own success this allows you to take bold actions that others might shy away from you become willing to take risks to step outside of your comfort zone and to embrace challenges that will help you grow however with this power comes great responsibility when you are the architect of your destiny there is no one else to blame for your failures or missteps you must own your mistakes and learn from them this is not a burden but an opportunity for growth each failure becomes a lesson each setback a chance to adjust your approach and improve taking responsibility for your life gives you the freedom to learn from your experiences and continuously evolve ultimately being the architect of your destiny means you have the power to create a life that reflects your dreams your values and your purpose it is a journey that requires courage self-reliance and determination but when you embrace this role fully you become unstoppable capable of achieving anything you set your mind to because your future is built on the foundation of your own design challenges are an inevitable part of life and how you respond to them often defines your growth and success when you face difficulties alone it may feel overwhelming at first but it's in these moments that your true strength is revealed standing on your own without relying on others to carry you through forces you to dig deeper to access inner reserves of resilience and determination you might not have known existed when you face a challenge without immediate support you're compelled to take full responsibility for overcoming it there's no one else to turn to for a solution or to shoulder the burden this can be daunting but it's also incredibly empowering by stepping up and taking ownership of the situation you begin to realize that you have the capacity to handle more than you thought possible in fact many people discover their greatest strengths in moments of isolation and difficulty when they have no choice but to push through challenges especially when faced alone act as mirrors they reflect back to you your character your weaknesses and most importantly your ability to persevere when you overcome an obstacle on your own the victory is yours entirely it builds confidence showing you that you don't need to depend on others to succeed you have what it takes within you each time you face a challenge and come out the other side you grow stronger more resilient and more self-reliant you begin to trust yourself more deeply because you've proven to yourself that you can handle whatever comes your way facing challenges alone also cultivates a sense of self-discipline and focus when you have no one else to lean on you learn to rely on your own strategies planning and execution this forces you to become more organized and deliberate in your actions without external motivation or assistance you must cultivate the internal drive to keep going even when the road ahead seems tough over time this develops into a strong habit of persistence and essential quality for success in any endeavor moreover tackling challenges independently teaches you how to solve problems creatively when you're alone you may not have immediate access to external resources or advice this pushes you to think outside the box to experiment with different approaches and to find innovative solutions to your problems in this way challenges become opportunities to stretch your mind and expand your problem solving skills these moments of self-reliance foster ingenuity helping you develop a mindset that sees obstacles not as barriers but as puzzles to be solved importantly the process of facing challenges alone builds emotional resilience there will inevitably be moments of frustration doubt and even fear but each time you push through those emotions and find a way forward you strengthen your emotional endurance you learn how to handle stress manage uncertainty and maintain your focus even in the face of adversity this emotional toughness becomes a key asset as you continue to pursue your goals because it allows you to remain steady and composed no matter what obstacles arise 
Ultimately, challenges reveal your strength because they force you to step up, rely on yourself, and push beyond your perceived limits. Each challenge you overcome reinforces your belief in your own abilities and prepares you for future obstacles. When you face these moments alone, you're not only overcoming the immediate difficulty, you're building the foundation of a stronger, more resilient self.